Okay, today is gonna be an angry one because I'm sick and tired of YouTube and the little stunts that they pull all the time. It's also gonna be fairly empty in terms of legitimate consequences because I can't actually do anything about all of this. I can't switch platforms, at least not without exceedingly difficult contingencies in place because the requirements and monetary potential to support my existing life and obligations would have to be already established and sadly that doesn't really exist anywhere else on any other platform. And the vast majority of viewers use YouTube and would not follow or care about another platform, effectively reducing any overlap by probably in the vicinity of 90%. So here I am. I can rip on them and complain, but most likely nothing will happen as a result. However, at the very least, it's cathartic, and I'd rather do it like this than silently fume in my apartment because YouTube is destroying creator livelihoods, cheating us out of money, advertising pornographic imagery in front of our videos, and selectively choosing who to favor with their completely subjective and pathetic policy enforcement. Without further ado, the pathetic state of YouTube advertising, in video form. Where do I even begin with this? Do I start with the pornography ads? Do I start with other creators who abuse DMCA copyright flags to silence critics, advertising their OnlyFans on my videos? Do I talk about how my recent discussion of Assassin's Creed Valhalla was demonetized for violent imagery, even when the very same footage is monetized elsewhere on the platform? How about YouTube putting advertisements on channels that are not even monetized? And since the system for awarding paying ads is an automated auction with a finite number of paying adverts to award in total, this means the creators who are monetized and actively rely on that money get less because YouTube dodges the obligation to pay out the 55% portion to the actual creator. Or how about more? Why not talk about how criticism of these issues gets throttled and suppressed actively by the algorithm? Take your pick, because all of it is happening. I'll start with this. Destiny FOMO. Get this girl and her OnlyFans off my channel. This is really straightforward. Destiny FOMO is some random Nintendo gamer girl who did a few videos but has mostly been silent as of late, but suddenly, up she pops with an ad that is served on many videos as a pre-roll that directs people to her OnlyFans account. OnlyFans, for those that don't know, is a paywalled adult content site where you can fill in the blank here for yourself. Why is this allowed? Why is this a thing? It reminds me of the time when Twitch was serving ads for other streamers while a broadcast was live. Like, hey, I know you're waiting to watch a channel you actually like while we serve you this ad, but you should go watch this other channel instead. Don't do that. We as creators compete for a viewer's time, and it's obviously separate content when comparing my gaming analysis stuff to her shoving things where the sun doesn't shine for creepy men on the internet in exchange for tips, but if you look closely, the video is exactly two minutes and three seconds long, while a video titled Destiny FOMO's OnlyFans on her actual channel is also exactly two minutes and three seconds long, while that very same video is climbing in views much faster and higher than most of her other content. This might just be that sex sells, obviously, or it could be because the ad is tied directly to her channel and her video, which would then mean those clicking the ad go to her page, effectively meaning that YouTubers can advertise their own videos literally on the videos of other creators. And that is complete bullshit. If that's true, and I'm pretty sure it is, I am very surprised more people have not figured out that a feedback loop of posting your video than advertising your video on other people's videos to get noticed can be extremely effective. It's happened before and might seem innocuous most of the time, but conceptually, it's not okay. That's just one thing. How about the ads for scam online dating apps or hookup sites? Oftentimes it's actual malware. Things that are literally designed to prey on desperation and trick people into clicking and downloading. This makes no mention of the literal explicit content that gets advertised as pre-rolls on videos, which I can't show, but it's there, plenty of it. There is a rigorous approval process for video monetization, but the ads served on those videos will often violate more guidelines than the video itself. And yet, we as creators get punished every step of the way while this garbage is allowed to infest the platform. Most recently, the inspiration for this video was my segment on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. This is a popular topic with many YouTubers doing analysis videos and trailer reactions. The official trailer is about four minutes long, and right here, right now, you can see that IGN has re-uploaded it fully monetized. However, when I made a video about the game and sequentially used their trailer footage about three times in a row, it got demonetized for excessive gore and violence. 
Now, this might have been a result of the other trailers I used, which referenced the TV show Vikings and The Last Kingdom. But if it was those segments, I can't actually show them because if it really was a result of those bits, I would just get hit again. Those segments were less than 10 seconds long, and the worst frame of violence is when a sword swings towards the bottom of the screen, we do not even see it hit anyone, and a blood splatter flies upwards into frame for about half a se not even half a second, and then it switches to new imagery. If that is what resulted in the video getting demonetized, fine. To the absolute letter of the guidelines, perhaps it can be justified. But if it was the Assassin's Creed Valhalla footage, no. Just no. Fix your disgustingly poor moderation, YouTube, because that trailer is monetized in hundreds, if not thousands of other locations, and I placed no emphasis on the violence or gore. That's just how it's built. But see, that isn't even my biggest concern, because one or two videos, even though it's a lot more than that lately, getting demonetized is to be expected when YouTube is consistently failing in every conceivable way at self-policing or reasonable policy enforcement. The real issue I have is this. This is a creator named Rachel Messer, who inquisitively posted on Twitter about her video displaying multiple mid-roll advertisements, despite her channel not being monetized at all. This is where I lose my cool, as if it had not been completely lost already, because the way mid-roll and pre-roll ads work is through an auction system. An automated process takes place to award those ads to various creators. And this matters a lot, because, especially right now, during the pandemic lockdowns, there are way more videos going up than there are ads to serve on them. The automated auction decides where to award these ads, which in effect is an automated algorithmic system deciding who gets paid and how much they make, and who doesn't. That's bad enough, that's already terrible, but since YouTube already takes a 45% cut of all ad revenue, period, that channels make entirely, it gets even worse. By awarding these ads through its automated system to a channel that is not technically monetized and receives no payouts, YouTube is taking away the money from a legitimately monetized channel that they could be making, while the CPM for most creators is the lowest it has ever been in history, and awarding those ads to a channel that has not even opted to receive payouts. Therefore, YouTube serves ads and pockets 100% of the money. This is absolutely unacceptable, and it isn't the first time it has happened. There are plenty of instances where channels with no advertising access or a deliberate choice to never receive ads are having them served on videos, which means YouTube dodges the need to pay their creators, subtracts even more of the earning potential from channels that actually do rely on them, and all of it ties back into the piss-poor standards that they have for vetting these advertisements in the first place, because half of these could easily be some sort of malware dating app that advertises free sex, or another creator's OnlyFans account, or literal pornography. To cap it all off, this is what happens on more than one occasion to videos that are critical of YouTube, or level insults against their system, or their desired narrative. This extends all the way to the political arena as well, it seems, but that's beside the point for today, because right now I'm just focusing on the critical coverage of YouTube itself, and more specifically, advertising potential. This is what we call flat-out suppression, and it has happened more times than I can count to a great many separate videos. I don't always have the foresight to screenshot when there is a radical drop in viewership, one that is anything but organic and cannot be facilitated by anything other than outright suppression, but I have no doubt in my mind that many other creators can relate to this, easily. At times, there will be unexplained, and frankly unexplainable, drops in promotion that kill the video reach beyond any reasonable speculation as it is pulled from browsing features and recommended tabs, among many other things. This really does not seem to happen when topics are less critical and more, shall we say, kid-friendly. It's anecdotal, less than scientific and anything but certain, but I have never seen this issue when I do basic game reviews, indie spotlights, or general industry news. I seemingly only run into this kind of thing when criticizing YouTube, or calling out issues with their selective suppression of other topics, such as politics, or entering the political arena myself with something that they have obviously deemed as wrong think. That's a lot more conspiratorial, yes, but I'm just telling you what I have seen over the past few years. A lot of my frustration boils down to this. YouTube has now penalized channels for being too child-friendly. They will disable comment sections, shut down other features if you make material just for kids, but they also penalize creators for nudity and sexual content. Now, obviously, this same standard has nothing to do with their advertisers because the garbage that they serve on the videos can often be 10 times worse than anything the video itself contains, but they expect creators to thread the needle. 
Don't be edgy, don't be adult, or you get nuked with demonetization. Don't be kid-friendly, don't be child-oriented, or you get nuked with deactivated features. But pay no attention to the ads that they run which ignore all of these standards. And when you do get slapped with some kind of violation and lose your advertising, YouTube can just shift all of your ads over to some other channel that either did not opt to monetize, might not be eligible for monetization at all, or any number of other factors, they can serve those same community guidelines violating advertisements and collect all of the revenue for themselves by dodging the creator payouts. The advertising standards on YouTube are pathetic. They are now harming creators far more than they need to. They are doing so deliberately in some circumstances, and combining that deliberate inadequacy with rampant incompetence as their enforcement standards for our material, that is us, the content creators, cripples our ability to exist and thrive, but is never applied to the advertisers themselves, and the picture becomes clear. The pathetic state of YouTube advertising is only getting worse, and they pretty clearly do not care at all. That's it though. It sucks and it's infuriating as someone who operates nearly full-time on the platform, but I honestly cannot think of anything to legitimately do against it. If you want to support more than ever now, I appreciate any mode which is not linked to YouTube at all. Any off-platform support at all is highly appreciated, though never ever required, because this platform is circling the drain unless they get their act together. But yeah, that's it. Links down below, another gaming YouTuber to support as well, but I'll cut it there and stop rambling. As always, thank you all for watching, and have a nice night.